Hello everyone and welcome to Speed Outdoors. On this video, we're gonna talk about the most effective set for making raccoons and pocket set. So you'll start off on the creek. We're on a small little creek right here. That's a really good area for making a raccoon. Caught a raccoon here already earlier this year. Had to snap all my traps because I went on a hunting trip down to Maryland sea duck hunting. Uh, if you waterfowl hunt and you're looking for a sea duck hunt, check out Black Duck Outfitters. It's where we went with. Had a really good time. Got in a bunch of birds. Got two birds at the thermos right now. So it was an awesome fun time. But anyhow, so you start off with, now I always like to, now we had a bunch of high water since I built this, but kind of trim the bank, kind of make it flat. And then you just dig a pocket in, dig up, so that way in the back you got part out of the out of the water. Just dig a hole, decent sized hole, enough that you can fit your trap at the front here, and there really isn't any space in between, so that way the animal has to go over your trap. So you dig your hole out. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of some dirt washed in here. We had a whole bunch of heavy rains. So Take the trap here, and I have mine hooked up to concrete block. If you, uh, I have a video on that, so if you are interested in using that style of drag in the future, make sure you check out that video. So you set your trap here at the set your trap at the base of the hole. I always kind of like to set mine kind of angled like that kind of make them go across the jaws or kind of like an angle a little bit that's how I like to set mine set that in there place this rock over the wire so it's not hanging out it's been real difficult here lately because of all the high waters and I got my trap bedded here at the base. Now, take some lure using some cabin, Cavins uh, Mink Master. I always like to stick it just like that. Now you can use bait. I don't, really, I don't have any bait on me currently at the moment. I needed to stop at the store, but I caught them already without bait. I caught already without using lure, or fish oil or anything, but so I got some I got my lure here. Make sure that trap's bedded in there good. The high water has been really a struggle. But you want it you want your trap in the water and you want it base of the hole. Basically how you can, you can see it here. There's no way he's gonna be able to get in there without stepping over the trap. So then hopefully he'll step in the trap. Then take some of the fish oil and you can guys watch that video I have on fish oil. It's one of my go-to when it comes to go-to when it comes to making raccoon trapping. I use a lot of it and you just slap a whole bunch over here on the bank. Now since I'm not using don't have any bait, I'm gonna probably bait this tomorrow. Take this and up in the hole so that way there's fish smell out of there like this piece of fish dribble a little bit in the water so it flows down through gets everything attention down through and then take it spread it on both sides which you'll see this if you watch my video on fish oil and there you have it you have a pocket set which is really good for mink and raccoons also works good for muskrat too but you're making raccoons it's your go-to go-to for when it comes to that so anyhow hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys found the video helpful uh please like share and subscribe comment down below have a good day be safe out there trapping tight chains and have a good new year thank you